On this video we're going to do a bit of beautification for uh, JF Bitzer as uh, this weekend, that's been August Bank Holiday weekend, we've got uh, the Prestat and Classic Car Show. It's the first one we've, we've entered him into. Anything for a laugh. Uh, I want to do a little bit of uh, spraying, which we'll do now. Uh, hopefully, don't know if we'll get it all done today, but I'll definitely do the bonnet. Just to sort of like show a before and after of um, oily rag as I call it. We're going to do a bit of oily rag on him. I think I've covered it in a previous video that um, I'm going to do uh, restoration with oil and uh, white spirit as opposed to tartifying him to concourse condition and then never drive it. So it's going to be a, a usable everyday sort of run around it. Hopefully keep it solid underneath and it looked like a bag of rags on the outside but that's the way I like it. So without further ado we'll uh, cut there, mask up because we're not going to film that, it's as boring as hell. Mask up, get ready to paint the, uh, the car. See you in a few minutes. Back in the room. Uh, also, just to bring you to your attention, I've uh, made a little uh, flat cap. I've just done myself uh, to promote the uh, YouTube site. We're back in the room again. Right, we need to set the trim off, so we've masked it up. As I said, I wasn't going to film that because it's as boring as hell. So I just lift this trim off with a bit of a gentle swipe and a screwdriver. He said, he looks hot. Oh, oh, it's been awkward. Right. That'll need a bit of beautification. Refill. Why? Because it's French. Right, that's out of the way. Rubber out. That came off rather nicely. Why that there? Voice. I need a little bit of a cloth. As I've just noticed, I had a kamikaze uh, wasp. This is about as good as this is getting. There's the people out there that do body panels and spraying for a living and they'll be pulling it out. Okay, that's as good as that is getting cleaned. Quick model off. Maybe you know sound on this bit. We'll put some hippy hoppy music and it's only a spray can getting rattled around. When you're ready. Oh, you're already gone. I'm ready. That's gone. I think that went in the cabin. Light thing comes, light thing comes. If I was doing this in the garage, I would actually have the uh, respirator on this. As in, it's semi closed, though, isn't it? Reasonably outside. That's the cameraman's now fretting. Youth of today. Can't see you. It's not. It's too close. Luther today. As I said, Luther today is already coffee. No one near it. Um, cameraman was saying. I'm not too sure. He did say. Say it again. I think we said when we went to peak 2 cv well we told John anyway when we went to peak 2 cv the Citroen Red uh, EKB or something like that who knows I'll put it up anyway if I've got it wrong the colour red that this is unless you get it from expensive paint shops not that Alphas is dirt cheap other places are a bit available but I'm using Peugeot Cherry Red and it's nigh on. I wouldn't say perfect match, but pretty close. Jono from Peak 2C seemed to be uh, quite sort of surprised. I think we'll call that a day then. On that side. And I'll just give it a bit more. I'm not actually a concourse, it's just a 
I've been meaning to do it for a while. Right. Somebody's adamant that we've had a bit of a whoopsie with this plane. So he's wanting to, you know, get me to go, oh yes, you were right, I was wrong. And uh, that there's going to be red inside the cab. So, look at him, busting the gut, can't get in there quick enough, I can't get the cloth off the top quick enough for him. The paint's still drying, it's not like it's time lapse. And uh, is there any paint in the cab? Not that I can see. No. No. Oh. Is that a bit of dribble on there? Oh, what's that? What's that? What was that? What was that? No. What was that? Was, that right? was your fart right again? Right. As we're getting a bit low on time, uh, like everything else in life, time restraints, weather, etc. etc. A nice little crease down the middle of the bonnet there. I'll do one half and then compare it to the other half. And obviously I'll do the whole bonnet. I've already, I've not filmed it, but I've already quick go on the uh, the headlights and the wings and the rear wings. But I obviously want to redo it. Like I say, we've got a show this, this weekend coming. So I've got to crack on. Less talk, more action. Right, what I'm using is um, boiled linseed oil. It's three parts, yeah, three parts linseed and one part white spirit. So, got the old cloth. Like I say, we'll, we'll do a comparison so you've got one side to the other. I'll get in a bit closer for the comparison, yeah? Yeah. So then I'll put it how you can tell from here on this. Bit lavish, lob it on. And the one good thing about this, compared to uh, the lanolin, smells nice. It does not smell nice. <laughs> oh, I got carried away and I went over the mark. Oh, fucker. Bloody hell. Looks better on the camera than it does here, eh? with my own oh. eyes. <laughs> the cameraman's a gog anyway, so I don't want to get too far up there because we've just been spraying. It's going to do any damage to the bloody rubbers, mate, but the windscreen rubber that is. I've not gone anywhere near the, um, the wiper blade. Go do the wheel arch as well on that side. And then just because he's pointed it out, do you want to do the wheel arch? A little bit on there. Surprising how far this stuff actually travels. Do the headlight bulb again. I don't need to wear the uh, the blue Smurf gloves. I'm just doing it because my hands are cut to hell, and it's going to sting like buggery washing my hands as it is. So I'm trying to keep the uh, the grind down as much as I can. And there you go, folks. He says, putting his backside over the camera. That's what half a linseed bonnet looks like. Leave your comments in the bottom. It's only a short one. I'll probably show you uh, the next one. Will probably be uh, the whole thing done. Might try and film at the uh, the show itself, depending on how brave I'm feeling. Take a moment, I'm to talk to the camera now, to you guys. And there's only me and the cameraman. Um, so for those that subscribed, thank you very much. Just before I go, I've got this, uh, you'll probably see it in the background, I'll just make it out. This nice big blue awning. 
uh, which was kindly donated by uh, Andy Video Man. I'll uh, see if I can find a link. I don't know if it'll be on this video, but it'll be on one of them. And uh, I'll let you know. He puts videos to DVD. I think he does other stuff as well, but jack of all trades. Very handy. Uh, he's uh, kindly donated it to us to use for filming. So thanks up, Andy. And thanks to everybody else that subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please think about it. Cost you nothing. Hit the like button, hit the dislike button, whichever. It all adds to the stats. <laughs> thanks again for watching. Until the next one, I'll see you.